Whoa! You guys must be the monstrums I keep hearing about. Perhaps. Are you a prisoner? Whew. I'm saved. The knights were keeping me locked up, but I'm not exactly a prisoner. Were you one of the people who were recently arrested by the knights? Uh, yeah. Something like that. I somehow managed to escape. But there are people back there who are still being held by the knights. Which must mean... Carla and the others might be there. I'm not sure if the Monstrums are the ones I should be asking. But you're the only ones who can do it. Yeah. Really? The monstrums aren't as bad as they say you are. I've got to run. Okay. was a close one. So that's the Crimson King, huh? <sighs> Going to hell for this, aren't I? Carla! Where are you? Don't scurry too far ahead, pussycat. Sorry. Hang in there, Felix. I'm coming. Hey, some treasure. <laughs>
something's there. Treasure chest! Let us remain vigilant. Let's take a break. It seems we have reached a dead end. Tell me what in the hell is going on here? I detect vital signs. It is not any sort of doll. <sighs> you have come at last. I give you 90 points for this feat. Master Shadowlord. Why is someone who looks like Adel in that tank? Do you recall my promise to you all? That I would explain once you have seen the truth with your own eyes. That time has come. As promised, the truth 
is yours. Quick gloating and get to the point already. Patience, Lieutenant Eyblinger. Firstly, how much do you know of alchemy? Yeah. That is right. You encountered this ancient art in Xandria. Alchemy? You can't be serious. You know what alchemy is, Jules? It was a science prevalent among Glean scholars during the Hundred Years' War. Supposedly, the aim of alchemy was to transmute common ores into pure gold. Gold? Sounds like a historical scam to me. Maybe. But the research had a great influence on science and medicine. Eventually, though, it was deemed to be pseudoscience. Hmm. You get 50 points for that attempt at an explanation. What do you mean? Alchemy's objective is not only the transmutation of metals, it is also research dedicated to the perfect replication of human flesh and soul. Huh? Human flesh... and souls as well? During those times, there was one alchemist who perfected this art. That's impossible. Does that mean this place is for alchemy? That is correct. The purpose of this facility. Huh? You're jo- However, it would explain how they were able to create another Adol. So you're telling us that the Adol over there is a copy? Ah, <sighs> 50 points. Again. What was that? The Adol in that preservation vessel is the true Adol, the peerless adventurer, and the homunculus that was created in his image was you, Crimson King. Wait, that can't be true. You're screwing with us. Well... Since the beginning, it was you who escaped the prison and became a monster. Uh, even if what you're saying is true, then so what? Sure, it's a shock to learn all of this about Adol and alchemy, but the Crimson King has been our friend from the beginning, and nothing you say will change that. Krisha. Hmm. As I said earlier, there is an order to this. There is more to this story. You see, Adol is not the only one. Huh? Look. Can it be? I don't understand. Your reaction is understandable. Monstrums, turn your gaze toward that painting. Painting? That looks like a painting of the Emancipation of Balduk. What about it? Yufa. Look closely at the people who are depicted. What? They look like us. And the woman in the middle? That's Saint Rosvita, isn't it? Wait. Aprilis? This painting is more accurate than any other depiction you will find today. The five next to the saint are the heroes who fought by her side in the Hundred Years' War. And four of you are homunculi created from those heroes. We are... but how? How old do you think this prison is? No. That explains why we were all orphans. Then does that mean Aprilis was... The Saint's homunculus. <laughs> that is correct. Aprilis... Dawn, you were the one who made this possible. But I will leave that for another time. I made it possible? It is the same as I have told you before. There are many exceptional individuals in many vocations with desirable talents. Through alchemy, these people can be replicated and controlled. With these homunculi in our ranks, Glia will be unstoppable. We will break free of the Empire's fetters. So that's the reason the Knights were rounding people up. Seems like the case. And you don't see anything wrong with that? Not at all. I have done everything in my power to achieve my goal already. But eight years ago, during the war, all of it, 
ended in failure. It's just as Park said. Even if I must sacrifice my humanity, I will not allow those mistakes to be repeated. I cannot do it alone. Power is necessary for Glia to truly be free. Monstrums, I ask for your assistance. It will raise the people's morale if they are led by the heroes who liberated Balduk once before. Every Glian knows what it's like to have someone taken from them by the Romans. But still... Even though the war was terrible, we have to move past that! Not all Romans are bad people! I can't speak for everyone, but I think the people of Balduk are moving on. I lost my parents in the war, but I'm slowly coming to terms with it. Normally, I'd be raring to take on an entire army, but instead of fighting with you, I'm thinking it'll be a hell of a lot more fun fighting against you. I hear you. Nevertheless, I was hopeful that you would share my perspective. To be certain, Adel, no. Crimson King, what is your response? I understand. Even as a homunculus, you are still the same adventurer. If none of you will join me, then you are a hindrance to my plan. I will obliterate you and ensure that the next homunculi will be obedient. Is that possible? I told you earlier. Fortunately, I already possess the necessary constituents. <laughs> Those are the words of someone about to put up the fight of his life. Now we're talking. Obliterate us? I'm not gonna let you do that! That's the... First you tell us what we built on... For that... I would put your... So... I fi... I s... Very... Ah! He transformed! You can do that with alchemy? Cast aside your fears! and give it everything you've got! Okay! <laughs> Understood. Let's do this! Yeah, yeah. I did not wish to show you my true power. But leave me with no choice. Now, Monstrums of Gaulty, let us fight! <laughs> I've been waiting to hear that. Only one of us is getting out of here alive, Shadow Lord. I understand how you feel, but what you're doing is wrong. We're not going to let you endanger the people of Balduk. Even the master of the hieroglyph knights has his limits. I shall not yield. The true extent of one's limits is revealed in the face of death. A sensible observation. We must also fight at our fullest capacity. That power will be of great use to the reborn Korea. Still don't get it, do you? You're finished, Shadowlord. We're not gonna lose! This ends now! Willing to for the future of Glia and my fallen comrades. I'll try it! I'll take care of it!
Alpha! <laughs> For a second there, I thought we were goners. Now I see how much you have all grown. Battle the Red and the heroes of the Hundred Years' War. You're as strong as I hoped. But I will not <laughs> surrender. Not in a thousand years will I give up. He, uh, he's not done? <sighs> he is even more stubborn than Prado. Glia must be freed in the name of my fallen comrades, my friends. For the people whose lives were taken all because of that war. <laughs> what? What's happening to Shuttleard? Impossible! Am I a homunculus? It, it cannot be. What? What are you talking about? It was him. He did this to me. Who does he mean? I see. I died. Along with every single one of my comrades. We still have questions! I'm coming. My friends. Uh, he's... gone. Shadowlord. <clears throat> How insipid. I thought I'd watch the performance, but it ended oh so predictably. Huh? Uh, Vesta? No matter. My research is at the threshold of completion. It is fortuitous that Shadowlard performed his role sufficiently enough. Hey, what's your deal showing up and spouting nonsense? Insolence. Do you have any idea to whom you're speaking? <laughs> but of course. I suppose a formal introduction is long overdue. My name is Zola. I am the one who created you all. The first alchemist. He's... An alchemist? All of you and this facility are the fruits born from my research, centuries in the making. Of course, the same goes for my adjutants, Shadalar and Smirnov. It, it was you? This whole time? That's correct. Although this form is but one of many others. I have always been one to exercise prudence. Uh, they're all people we've met before. Over the past 500 years, I never once revealed my true form to anyone. But I am in good spirits today, and I have a very good reason. Thanks to you, Crimson King and Adol, my magnum opus is nearly complete. Uh, he's a little boy! What's this magnum opus? Anamona. The final piece of my research requires someone very special. You. Mona? Papa... It is... you. What? But I thought he'd be older. <laughs> this guy's just a freak. <sighs> so your memories have returned. It has been too long, Anamona. And of course, 
I've been watching all of you very closely, too. No way! He's the one who brought Anamona to life? The big alchemist, doing whatever he wants no matter the consequences. It's all for the sake of my research. Five hundred years in the making. And soon, there will be no need for any of you to fight the Grimwald Nox. Are... are you saying... The curse is going to be broken? The curse? Ah, I understand. That's how Rosvita described it to you. Or rather, Aprilis, as you all know her. First of all, allow me to express my gratitude to you, Crimson King. Nothing I haven't done already. You see, Adol, I have everything I need from you now. What do you mean by that? There's still much to be done. But you will all see me again. That is, when it's time. Regrettably, I must retire for today. Please wait, Papa! Goodbye, Crimson King. Till next time. He disappeared. <laughs> Anyone gonna explain to me what that asshole was talking about? Hell of a person to go and die for, Shadowlard. Cradle. I can't believe we're just copies of war heroes made by alchemy. I don't know what to think. There's so much to take in. Do you think it's true that we won't have to fight the Grimwald Nox anymore? Either way, it's still too early to celebrate. Do you know anything about this magnum opus, Anamona? I am sorry. I cannot recall. Yes. I apologize. Is this what they call... confusion? There's not much we can do here. But what should we do about those? <sighs> I guess we'll just have to leave them here. We wouldn't know what to do with them anyways. Wait! Maybe Dad knows what to do. Oh yeah, where'd he run off to anyway? He is not anywhere in the vicinity. <sighs> yeah. There's nothing else we can do right now. Let's return to the dandelion at all. I feel like we got more questions than answers. Yeah, but I'm happy. <laughs> I still find it difficult to fathom that we're. Still got your strings tangled. Adol? This is just like before. But why now? Hang on, Adol! Look! Isn't that the same light? There is no mistaking it. It is the light that appeared when Shadowlard faded away. This can't be happening. But... why? Adol! You can't go! It's not fair. This way, Crimson King! Quickly! Aprilis? Uh, how are you here? It doesn't look like a trick. Dad? What are you doing here? You must hurry. There's not much time. Take the Crimson King over to the next room. There's also something I need all of you to do for me.
What is this place? There's so many Aprilises! I can't believe it. This is the place where Zola first succeeded at making a homunculus. That's right. You're one too. The reason Zola turned to alchemy was so he could revive me. What? I'm sure you all have many questions, but our first priority is saving the Crimson King's life. We can save him? What's the deal with him anyway? Normally, homunculi are born as children. That's why all of you had proper childhoods. That's true. I wouldn't necessarily call them proper. But he was an experiment to create an identical adult replica of the original. And because of that, his body is unstable. If we do nothing, then the Crimson King will disappear forever, just as Shadowlard did. I isn't there anything we can do? There's not enough time to create an entirely new body for him. However, there is another way. It's our first time meeting, but it doesn't feel that way. It's like you and I have been connected all along. You felt it too, haven't you? I envy you for all of your adventures. What a life, the danger. When was the last time you slept in peace? Why keep doing it? Why do you still want to be an adventurer? does. If you don't light a fire, it'll never go out. If you don't make decisions, you'll never be hurt. But you'll never be deterred. You'll keep going until your last breath escapes you. In you, there lies a hope that guides you and everyone around you toward their dreams. The thought of it gets your heart racing, huh? I have a favor to ask. I wish I could go with you, but I'm afraid I'm running out of time. Still, I can't let it end here. Adventures are still waiting for us. So I ask you this. Take my power and my soul. Take them with you on your journeys. At all, Kristen. You're awake. Um... Yes. It was Dr. Noah's first time performing this procedure. I thought it best to stay and be sure you were all right. Incidentally, I believe this is the first time we've spoken, Adol Kristen. Yeah. Then you must be aware of what happened to you. Adol the Red certainly is perceptive. Dr. Noah. The adventurer Adol Kristen and his homunculus, the Crimson King. Within you resides both of their souls. To be precise, you were originally one person, and now you've become one again. Do you feel the Crimson King's consciousness and the power you inherited? So that's what happened. 
A conversation between souls during fusion. Dr. Noah is Zola's assistant. He was the one who fused both of your souls into a single body. Forgive me, but this was the only way to save the Crimson King's life. No. I thought you would be angry with me. He looks to be adjusting well enough. Yes. I was planning on telling you after everyone had arrived. And it seems that time has come. Edel! You're all right! It's good to see the procedure was a success. <laughs> I suppose introductions are in order. That's right. That makes this the first time we've met. Right, Edel? I didn't think you could do something like that. <laughs> At least I've got something to show for leaving home. <laughs> Can't wait to hear all about it. Long story short, you're the same adult we've always been friends with. Thank goodness. Yes. My worries have been assuaged. You didn't call us just for this welcome back party, did you? Before I get to it, there is something I need to tell you all first. It concerns Zola. About time you told us who he is. That man... He was a young noble who served Rosvita during the Hundred Years' War. Anamona? You've regained more memories? Yes. Some returned when I saw this room. If Zola served under Rosvita, then they must have known each other a long time. That reminds me... There was a guy standing next to the saint in that painting. Is that the guy you're talking about? Yes. The Glia had the blessing of Grimnir. Ritai was blessed by Luki. But the roaring flames of human war eventually ignited the realm of the gods. Divided between the two sides, a war of their own erupted. Ultimately, Grimnir and Luki both fell at the other's hand. Is this the Twilight of the Gods from the Norse religion? Yes. Because of that war, the gods that once blessed Glia perished. That's terrible. Then what is the Grimwald Nox? You said the gods used the Grimwald Nox to contain and purge the monsters. Even without the gods, the Grimwald Nox still creates monsters from human emotions. So now, it falls on humans to eradicate the monsters born from them. But after the Hundred Years' War, many Gleans were overcome with grief. The monsters manifested from them could no longer be contained by humans alone. What happened then? That is when Zola intervened. After I was executed, he resigned from the military and returned home. He secluded himself and became engrossed in his research to- uh, But why? <laughs> Papa wanted to revive Rosvita. He respected her as- he sold his land and used his inheritance to- He would often isolate himself in his lab for- The outcome of his blood and tears was- It was me. <laughs> That's such a sad reason. Yeah. Zola then reappeared from isolation. He proposed a plan to the Glean royal family, who was overwhelmed by the Grimwald Knox. So that's what- Only beings of exceptional strength and skill are capable of suppressing the Grimwald Knox. They are doing the gods' work, quite literally after all. Zola's proposal involved the creation of a homunculus army. The Glean royalty, out of time and other options, accepted his proposal. So that's how he built all of this. As you know, homunculi are created by replicating existing humans. When the royal family sought candidates in secret, a handful of people volunteered. Yes. The volunteers were my comrades who f You are the homunculi of the heroes preserved here in this lab. The homunculi who have been slaying the Lemiris in secret, maintaining peace in Glia. And centuries of this conflict brought us to today. Yes. If the homunculi warriors were injured or killed, new ones were created. Zola even transferred his own soul into homunculi in order to continue his research. Then he gave his warriors gifts that bound them to this land. That explains what the curse is. I had no idea. 
Why were we adopted or given to orphanages then? Was that the case for all of our predecessors? No. Zola and I raised the homunculi ourselves. But 15 years ago, Zola disappeared. Your predecessors had perished, and you were all much too young to fight. That is why I made the decision to suppress the Grimwald Knox alone. I had no other choice but to entrust you to the people of Balduk. So you've been fighting alone then? <laughs> so then, what has Zola been doing? Shortly before he left, he said he had discovered a breakthrough in his research. I've no doubt it's the magnum opus he was speaking of. There's one more th Saint Rosvita was tricked by Bratai's army and burned at the stake. So explain to me how the hell you were created. Kratos right. Papa can fabricate more than just objects and flesh. He can fabricate human souls as well. I do re My soul was the first prototype that using the doll belonging to Rosvita as a relic. Huh? No. Yes. I had the same reaction when I first remembered it. But he had a reason for it. He needed to put the soul into something I held dear to learn more about my past. From the memories he learned from Anamona and a lock of my hair, I was created. What? Now you're telling us he can create people from nothing. That's a lot of power for one man. Now we know why Aprilia, but what? It must have something. I don't have but Zola has. Could it be pop that the strange mom were designed? <laughs> I suspect. I'm more worried about. Isn't there any? There are men. There's also. And. Balduke will soon be hosting its Victory Day festival. You mean. It is an annual. A day that celebrates Rosvita and the reclamation of Balduk. About that time of year again, huh? Yeah, but what? The scars left once every. If. If it... We do Before. I've... Yeah. I. I. You'll hear until. Ha <laughs> ha.